And so there's four studios here, basically. This is C, this is my son's lounge. Usually there's a table here with a little editing system, but um, that's where his clients kind of hang out when they're not bugging him. This is his main studio. These back rooms are always my more favorite rooms because that's Ooh. where all the magic is, you know, a collection of, of guitars. This is one one of three, this is Jason Hook special. Only only three of these made, so I'm very proud, proud of that. This is given to me by a friend who's got an upside down Canadian flag. I like these back rooms, we, we don't always you know, show that stuff, and obviously for various reasons. This is the studio room for, again, this is Studio C, just to throw down ideas, just an electronic kit there, so Kane's. My son Kane mostly works in C, and it's the only studio that has a, has a window as well, so. They had this studio going while they were building the other three studios in, in the back. You know, this is kind of more Kane's, I mean, we do rent it out, but it's mostly Kane's private room where he does all his artist stuff. But he was smarter than me, so when we when we bought the place, I chose the big boy room, yeah. which you'll see in a second. He chose this one, which is more awesome, really, because he doesn't have to tear his stuff down every night, whereas my room's yeah. obviously rented. That's Clarifonic? Yeah, that's some awesome UBK. Awesome stuff. UBK also has plugins, but it's basically Kush Audio is is oh, is the that's company. Right. A lot of the stuff he just incorporates into his his insert Pro Tools sessions for his mixes, and he just has his little favorite. This oh, is the man. oven. That's pretty amazing too. I mean, this is this is kind of a little more like when we used to have a home studio happening because everything's hooked up and ready to go, and he can just reach over here and do his synth things, or he's got his guitar pedals, and it's all kind of quick and easy versus what's become more of a commercial rooms in the back. Kemper, all the synths. So is he doing a lot of pre-production and like main production too? He does everything. Everything. Yeah. So he's all on the Slate. He's a big Slate fan. Have you used these? I haven't used the Raven much, no. Kane digs it, you know. And Meyer Sound, or do you have these in each room? So we have a few sets of these. This is kind of an older, I think it's probably developed in the 80s. I used to work for a producer named Mutt, Mutt Lang, and so he used to have these in his edit room. I spent a lot of time in his edit room uh, working on them, so I got really <laughs> used to them, and it's kind of, I mean, for, for me, it's a great speaker, kind of like a glorified NS10. The MKs are also a good mix speaker that we use. But this is Kane's choice, you know, when he works and there's some subs in the back. And... All right, so that was C.